Good morning. The Prime Minister of Domestic Trade and Consumer Affairs, Chong Cheng Jen, has asked the Sarawak State Government to explain its decision to allocate over 40 million ringgit to relocate and build a school. Chong, who is Sarawak Democratic Action Party Chairman, Stampin MP and Kota Sentosa Assemblyman, questioned the excessive allocation to only relocate and build two schools in Bintulu and Batong at over 40 million ringgit each. He posed the question to Assistant Minister of Education and Technological Research Dr. Anwar Rapai during a news conference in Kuching yesterday. Chong explained that the schools were not located at very remote areas and were accessible by tarred roads near Bintulu and Batong, which did not justify the 40 million ringgit price tag. He does challenge Gabungan Party Sarawak Assistant Minister to provide the specifications of the two schools and explain how Sarawak government approved the projects. Port Dixon MP Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim has met with Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte to discuss cooperation in security and economy between Malaysia and the Philippines. Anwar, who is Speaker our President and Prime Minister in waiting, said he was on holiday in the Philippines and received an invitation to meet with Duterte. He said this in response to a Twitter user who pointed out that such talks should be done by Defence Minister Mohamed Sabu. President Rodrigo Duterte met with Dr. Mahade in Putrajaya in July, with the Prime Minister's office describing the relationship as being at its best level. Indonesia raised the danger level and increased the no-go zone for the Anak Krakatau volcano that triggered a tsunami last weekend, which killed at least 430 people in Sumatra and Java. Indonesia's Volcanology Agency increased the danger level to the second highest and more than doubled the no-go zone around the volcano to 5 km radius. Ruli Sunandar, head of the Energy Ministry's Geology Department, said there was still a chance of another landslide due to Anak Krakatau's eruptions, which could trigger another tsunami. The Indonesian government said a Navy vessel was expected to survey the island, which could provide scientists with more information. The tsunami on Saturday struck without warning catching people off guard in the country that regularly experiences landslides, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions. That's all the news for now. I'm Raji Ahmad. Thank you for watching.